Your engineering degree is useless. And no, that was not actually my engineering degree. That was just a HelloFresh recipe card. But if you're watching this channel, you're probably thinking, you know, Saga, you're an engineering graduate and you have a degree in aerospace engineering. And not only do you just have a degree, you have a first class integrated master's degree from a top 10 engineering university within the UK. So why on earth are you saying that your degree is worthless? Well, let me explain myself. Well, the main reason is that if you want to work for a top tier company in the engineering or tech space, they don't really care what your degree is because all they're looking for are people who have some experience actually solving real problems that then have the knowledge to help the company in essence solve their problems and go on to make them more money. But unfortunately, university only really teaches you one side of the story. And well, university is primarily there to try and make you into an academic rather than a industry level engineer. And I learned especially after completing my degree that university doesn't teach you how to solve engineering problems but instead it teaches you how to answer exam questions, basically whenever you need to do tests for the university. And this is obviously a horrible thing because in the real world, you're not gonna have practice papers to look at, you're not gonna have example style questions because as an engineer or as a really good engineer, you're gonna be faced with problems no one else has really solved before. So you need to be able to come up with the solution yourself and independently using your own brain pretty much. And no one's there to really help you out or provide the solutions all the time. And honestly, I know people who have gone to university, gotten a good grade in their degree and not done anything else. And they found it incredibly difficult to get an engineering or tech related job. The reason why companies don't like to hire people who have zero experience, regardless if it's just, you know, project experience or whatever you do, anything. It doesn't have to be actual work experience or employment. You can just do projects on the side. But the reason why they hate people without experience is because you have never solved a real problem. And if you're working for a company, they want those types of people, people who are able to solve problems, people who are, are able to identify ways to improve things and so on. And this is because that's basically how companies are founded. You know, people come up with a solution to a problem, monetize it, and there we go. That's basically how startups work. And every company, to some degree, needs that sort of problem solving to make money sort of model. But look, hear me out. I'm not saying that university is a problem. I actually think university is an awesome place. And I do think that if you have the opportunity, definitely go and attend university. But I would also stress that your degree is not the main reason you're at university, even though that's what the university will tell you. In fact, the main reason why I think you should go to university is not the degree. It is because you're able to network with smart people and you will also be able to capitalize on the connections the university has with industry and other notable individuals, as well as use the resources that are available in the universities to improve your practical skills and gain that you know, experience from actually building things in the real world. So whether you're doing software engineering, mechanical engineering, aerospace engineering, or electrical engineering, pretty much any engineering discipline, the more hard tech it is, the more you know, of a reason to go to university because they will have these top tier pieces of equipment, which are very expensive to buy and have yourself. So university is great, but just doing a degree at university. Yeah, that's, that's not it. So if you want to give yourself the best chance to be able to become the best engineer, then I would say definitely go to university, but don't just be one of those students who pisses around and just only is there for the degree. Be involved in other things outside of your course, whether it be student projects or whether you do internships or even if you have like a part time job, which is, you know, related to engineering, all of this other stuff matters. And I would say, make sure you talk to people at university, get to know as many people as you can, because you never know who might be important to you in the future, both in a professional and personal standpoint. After all, 
Who knows, maybe the person sitting next to you in one of the lectures could end up being a co-founder of the company that you start. Or maybe they end up working for your dream company in the future and you can message them in a few years time being like, hey, can you give me a referral? So the more people you know, the better. And also the better university you go to means that you're gonna be surrounded by even more talented people. So even though people say the university you go to doesn't always matter, they're basically lying to you. Because ultimately, the better university you go to, the better caliber students you're gonna get, and therefore the better connections you will have in the industrial workplace and the engineering field in a global and a, you know, a national level. So that is pretty much why I think a engineering degree is useless, because if you just have the degree, then you know, you're pretty much worthless because you're not an engineer. You don't know how to solve real problems. And that's why I need to stress that if you want to be a successful engineer and actually go work for the top companies on the planet or even start your own, it's better just to start solving problems yourself, working on projects on the side, and basically actually engineering shit. That's pretty much the best way to put it. If you don't do real engineering, then how are you ever going to be the engineer that you want to be? And that's basically, yeah, why I think university degrees in engineering are useless. So thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the like and comment down below what your thoughts are on this video because it can be quite controversial.